good habitat for, for standing and forming. So ash dieback is a fungal disease that actually originated in Asia and it's travelled all the way across Europe and into the UK um, through global trade and it's affecting a significant number of our ash trees. There's about 126 million ash trees across the UK and the disease is expected to infect about 80% of those so it's a really significant proportion of our native ash trees. The loss of ash from our landscape could actually result in a, um, an extinction cascade effect and that would be detrimental to our ecosystems in the UK. Most of the ash have, have got some infection here um, and some severe that have actually completely killed the trees. It seems to be more um, apparent in the lower slopes where it gets a slightly damper climate so the sort of fungal activity is, is generally higher in, in some of the damp valleys and that's where we've seen such a lot of trees die off in this, this lower area. Even this first sort of phase of, of felling, we felled over about 100 trees in the last couple of years on this site, so it's quite a, a major impact in that respect. Um, it can have a slightly beneficial, we'll be looking on the ground floor now to see what um, saplings are coming up through, so it can s change the structure of the woodland, so you've got little canopy openings like we are now, which might get some new younger trees regenerating and coming through, so it can, make, can sort of break up that age structure of the woodland. Um, I've been out in the woodlands for, well, with the Woodland Trust for at least 20 years, but 40 years in, in forestry, yeah, so a long time. And this has perhaps been the worst period, I think, for tree diseases these last sort of five years or so. Yeah, the government's doing exactly the right thing in seeing the urgency and the need to increase tree cover in the UK. To meet its carbon net zero targets by 2050, we know we need to increase tree cover, which is currently 13% in the UK, to 17% in the UK. Um, but if you consider that we're hemorrhaging trees through the sort of ash dieback and other diseases and pests in the UK, um, it's setting us back on that mission to increase tree cover in the UK.